Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at taking a planned elevation and turn it into a three-dimensional building. So importing our plan as a DXF. Let's go with standard settings. Now I'm going to select the elevation and give it a three-dimensional position next to the plan. So here we're taking the lines and going to rotate. And if I click a point in the front view and then click another point, so this is the point it rotates from. There we go, we've rotated that. And now I'm going to position it, so using some snaps to get these two aligned. So dragging it to the point, and we've got endpoint selected. So if I just move to the perspective view, I will be able to see it in three dimensions. So that point to there. So now I'm going to just move this set of lines to this point. So now our 2D lines have a 3D relationship to one another. OK. And often with lines, you don't actually extrude the lines that you've brought in in the drawing. So for example, here I'm going to trace around the walls just so that they're nicely connected they're going to, we know they're going to extrude they're not going to be kind of individual lines that give us problems when we turn them into a 3D object when we do the extrusion so tracing round we've got our snaps which help us select to the points here we go so now that's one continuous line and extrude close planar curve and then I'm going to use the front view to give it its height so that's our three dimensional set of walls now I'm going to extrude this line but this time I won't trace around it because it's obviously more complex so we need to do some joining so here I know that we need a line between the thickness of there, so just adding it in, making sure that we've got a complete set of lines which make up from end point to end point one continuous shape. So selecting those three all the way over to the other side and select that. Now we can do a join, and this just makes it one complete set of lines which we know is going to extrude. So there we go, deselect, select them, and they all. Highlight. So now our closed planar curve, so again this closed planar is a nice three dimensional object, and there's our roof. A bit of shading so we can see. Okay, so the next thing is adding in some other geometry, so we'll look at doing a ceiling, just using a rectangle. And then I'm going to do an extrude, select the curve, and give it a thickness, so probably on the front view. And there we go. So, as with all applications, we can just do a edit, copy, paste. If we've got duplicates, and there's a floor. So now I'm going to do the same thing using a rectangle but I'm going to align it with this window here. So using the plan as a guide just drawing a rectangle then extruding it so the height should be the height of the window. So we could either type in dimension or a height or we could reference an elevation then move into position and now we'll do a subtract so it's actually called boolean so we could either type in boolean 2d two objects or uh, we've got it up here in this list. So there's always a couple of different ways of finding the tools you need. 
and you've got the different types of boolean there okay so surface you want to subtract from so that's the big set of walls return and then select the box you want to click done and we've got a window so you could keep going on this structure so now if we've got some other shapes so let's say we wanted to just uh, clad this so we're going to use explode so this does the opposite to join so it just takes it back down to its curves and we can use a curb here here so you can see how you can even use the edge of a solid but that one's too long because it extends past it so we just need to draw in a line so from that point to that point okay so now we've got a set of lines that all meet up to the end points so we're going to use a surface from open curves so select the inside of that one the smaller line we've just added in and the top of the extrusion so this now is going to make a surface from a set of open curves so we're not extruding but creating a surface okay so there we've gone through a few different types of modeling and created a 3D model from a plan and elevation.